So hey y'all and there's been a new launch from Sugar Cosmetics and I just wanted to talk about this. I've been waiting to do this video because I have so many things to talk about this product and kind of just discuss it. And this is the brand new Sugar Air Kiss Powder Lipstick line and powder lipstick. Yes, you heard me right. And we're going to be talking about the powder lipsticks and let's see how it works so whether it does not work and all those kind of things. SPR and this was one new gigantic box with this scent for just like five lipsticks and um, this was the box and it has kind of like a mirror over here it has these kind of very cute ones over here um, I really like the packaging and I think that you get the point of it so this is the outer packaging and this one contains two grams of product and it retails for 499 rupees and in my opinion that is slightly more on the steeper side considering the quantity versus the way you're actually going to be using it okay so now coming to the packaging this is pretty much your classic sugar packaging where you know it has this plastic kind of um, you know see-through one with the name and everything mentioned and literally everything you know this is just the same as the smudge me not um, the liquid lipsticks which they make which are super famous so pretty much the same packaging and inside that this is a powder so it moves around freely it's just kind of like you took a loose powder which are, with the color in there and you just kind of put it into the bottle that is basically how it looks and uh, this comes with a doe foot applicator in this for application now, coming to certain factors about the packaging, I'm usually not someone who crips too much about the packaging, but with this one's packaging, I do find this a little bit difficult to use. And the first reason being that every single time you want to open this and because it's a loose powder and they have a stopper over there, um, what happens is that like, let's say that you're in a rush and you're trying to, okay, I was not even in a rush, but you can actually see the powder flying around. So you get powdered lipstick flying around in the air, which settles down anywhere on your clothing or, you know, on your vanity. Uh, it is just something I don't like. I personally have a kind of an OCD that the powder can go into my nose and it can damage my lungs. So it's just a mind thing, but um, it could be true, I don't know. But um, I just don't like the fact that there is powder flying out of this every single time I open it, which is a bit of a bummer to me. For the second thing, which I don't like about the packaging is the fact that this one has a doe foot wand, like just like your typical liquid lipstick kind of, that kind of a wand, right? And what happens with this wand is that like after you apply it and because this is a powder lipstick and this one kind of converts into a lipstick as you're applying it and this wand gets wet and it kind of grabs all the powder and it kind of forms a bit of piling as you're applying it on your lip which is personally something which I don't like. Um, I feel that a better way of manufacturing this would have been in something like a pot, like how your loose powders come with, probably with a net on top of it or something. You know, I really can't think of much, but uh, a different way of application would have been a much more better option for this kind of a packaging. So that's pretty much about it for packaging. So moving on to the second factor, which is going to be about how to use it. So um, usually no one needs to be taught about how to use a lipstick, but with this one, I think it's a little tricky because I probably struggled for the first two days just understanding how to use it. I tried it in multiple ways. The first and the foremost, the most easiest one is to apply a bit of lip balm, like how you're always doing. Prep your lip and then, you know, just take it and just apply it on top of your lip. And I did that and uh, it does not work so what happens is that it kind of takes away the existing lipstick as you're going along and it does not stick on your lip and you just feel that there's a powdery mess falling around here and there and there's nothing coming on top of the lip and then i just thought that something was just wrong with the product and then i checked with the brand and then they told me about how to use it so told me to take this and put it onto a certain plate or anything and then kind of um, you know just kind of rub on top of it and when you do that what happens is that all the powder converts into a liquid which is like crazy good i really love the way that works um, i'm going to insert a small video clip for you to see how that looks in close up it looks amazing and um you know once it's a liquid you can just kind of apply it on your lip like how you always do but but the bummer is that this wand will have powder in it because it is inside the box so when you put the powder wand into the liquid and you try applying it on your lip it just starts to pile all the way around which is the worst possible and you will see me inserting another clip of that happening over here so the best way to use this is to open it take the powder 
put it onto a palette or put it on the back of your hand take a brush take a lip brush and crush upon it and then use it that way the product remains always a powder and there is no kind of that in between transition stages which is going on in the middle which keeps it a lot more easier and convenient to use so moving on let's just go ahead with the hand swatches and the lip swatches Okay, so now that you've seen the swatches, let's talk about something which is super important and that is the formulation. So the formula of this is a powder and when you kind of put it onto a palette or a plate and you kind of, uh, you just have to press and rotate your brush or if you're using a finger, you just have to kind of go like that. That's it. And that just makes the formula become completely liquid, which is pretty amazing. And then you just have to go on your lip. Now, the cool part about this is that it does not feel powdery on the lip, like how I actually expected it to be. Because when you say a powdery, powder lipstick, you assume it's going to be a powder lipstick on your lip. And um, it wasn't. It feels extremely creamy. It's more of a creamy matte uh, in terms of the way it looks. And um, to the lip, it feels very, very comfortable. I would say that this is one of the most comfortable formulations that Sugar has made after the Wonder Woman range. So another important thing which I wanted to mention about this range is that the color of the product when you're actually tasting it in the powder form is different from the way it looks like in the liquid form. So when it's a powder, it's a little more lighter and once you convert it into a liquid, it becomes very, very darker, like almost maybe around three shades darker than the actual color. So um, if you don't mind that happening and if you're looking for a certain shade, make sure that you take something a little more lighter. That way, once it becomes darker, it will match just the way you want it. I would say that I wore this for probably around uh, six to seven hours the other day and I did not have any kind of dryness on my lips whatsoever it felt extremely comfortable which was pretty amazing and that was a very good formulation which I felt that sugar handled. It does not pile nor does it crumble nor does it kind of peel off or flake off none of that stuff happening which is something I love about it. As you saw in the swatches shade number two was one of the most brightest colors and that was the one which I tried it on for the try on and that one did not leave a stain on my lip it just kind of went away super easily and usually hot pinks tend to leave a stain and this one did not which is something I really like I don't like a very long lasting stain on my lip after wearing the lipstick. So moving on to whether this lipstick is smudge proof, it is definitely not smudge proof. It does smudge if you kind of try to rub or anything and uh, is this waterproof? Uh, it is slightly waterproof. It does, it does resist water to a certain extent and this lipstick is not transfer proof. It does transfer even though they claim that it is transfer proof but to me it was kind of uh, transferring even after a very long time and uh, it does kind of get on coffee cups and all that and I personally don't mind that but if you're looking for a transfer proof lipstick I don't think this is the one to go in for. Okay so I told you a lot of things and let's just kind of sum it up and these are powder lipsticks yes it's a very different kind of unique formulation which has ever been launched in India so if you're really curious I think you can try these out considering that it's 500 so if you if you don't mind shelling it out you can give it a shot and try it out but um, coming to a person who probably just wants to buy one lipstick for a day-to-day -day purpose I don't think that this will be the right pick for you because it's too much of a hassle to use on a day-to-day -day basis that you have to take it, you have to pour it out and you maybe you're going to pour out maybe too much or too less. So there are kind of things like this which come in, right? So I would definitely say that this is more of a hit or miss situation and if you're someone who's looking for something which works every single time you take it out, I don't think that this will be the right one for you. And uh, personally speaking, I do like a lot of the colors in this range. I felt they looked super beautiful on my lip but I just wish that the formulation was a little more reliable for me that I can always reach out every single time I need it.
So that was my entire review on the Sugar Egg Kiss Powder Lipstick and I think you guys know my opinion by now. I would definitely recommend that you check out some more YouTubers videos to see how it works on them and to kind of know what is their learning curve and then think about getting it. So give me a big thumbs up if you like this video and stay tuned for more and until next time, bye!